And now, from Norwich, it's the Quiz of the Week. And our prizes today include this Chinese carpet, a home video and colour TV, this suite of hand-cut glass, plus a Canadian holiday, and the family car. But we start with this washed Chinese carpet. The centre panel is a garland of flowers and a dragon surrounded by a beige background with a cream, fawn and green border. It measures 12 by 9 and costs £1,100, but you could tread softly for only £100. And there's more to this next prize than meets the eye. Lift the doors of this smart-looking cabinet and we discover a 22-inch colour television set plus a video recorder and it's all been designed to give you high-quality home entertainment. Total cost, £1,049. But you could tune in for only 90 And our next offer includes two decanters and a selection of glassware to suit all party occasions. There's a total of 44 pieces worth £750 but you could buy them for 60. Or you might like this idea of a fly drive holiday to Western Canada for two people. You can start the break in either Vancouver or Calgary, touring through some of the most spectacular and breathtaking scenery that includes national parks, mountain ranges, and glorious waterfalls. You can dine in style or visit the many first-class hotels available. You might have a leisurely meeting with a moose and a visit to the hot springs for healthy relaxation should be on your agenda. Now this holiday would cost £1,258, but it's going for £125. The jackpot prize of the motor car is this Mini Mayfair in yellow. The lively engines noted for performance, economy and easy driving, and the price to the lucky winner, £140. And there they are, the fabulous prizes on offer in this week's Save of the Century. And now it's time to meet the man with the questions and the money, Nicholas Parsons. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the Save of the Century. Our first contestant tonight comes from Western Supermare in Avon. She's married, she has five children between the ages of 22 and 30. She also finds time to work as a secretary at the bank. And her name is Daphne Hudson. <laughs> Our next contestant tonight is from Nantwich in Cheshire. And uh, he is the deputy head of a community centre for young people. He's a married man. He has two young children of 12 and 11. And his name is Peter Smith. Hello. And our third contestant tonight is a systems analyst, also a married man, and he has three children between the ages of 21 and 12. And he comes from Spennymore in County Durham. His name is Leslie Wood. <laughs> so there are our three questions. They're breathing sighs to try and get their nerves under control as we pitch into the battle of the sale of the century. We've got some lovely, very easy ones to start. we get you in the mood of the game. So here is the first one. What is the traditional sign of a pawnbroker? <coughs> Peter. Three brass balls. Yes, and same to you as well, Peter. Well done. Where would you usually find an epitaph written, <coughs> Peter? On a gravestone. Yes. What product's quality is measured by its octane level? <coughs> uh, Leslie. Petrol. Petrol octane rating. What is the statue called at the entrance to New York Harbour? <coughs> Leslie. Statue of Liberty. Yes, it is. For what kind of food is a rock for? Famous. <coughs> Daphne. Cheese. Yes. In which sport might you perform a figure eight? <coughs> Daphne. Ice skating. Yes, yes. For what would a musician use a plectrum? <coughs> Peter. A guitar or string instrument. Similar stringed instrument. Yes, it's actually, we wanted you to say for plucking it, but he would use it for that instrument, so I think for three pounds we can be generous and give it to you. In history, what was jousting? <coughs> Leslie. It was uh, fighting between knights. Or... Y yes, but in what sense? On what horseback. Knights yes, but you didn't horseback. say the horseback within the four seconds, Leslie. Oh, I'm sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> no, it's a mock battle on horseback, and you didn't get the... We had to have the horseback in. 
Uh, what do we call a place in which we keep birds, <coughs> Daphne? An aviary. An aviary is right. In this country, in which month of the year does the longest day <coughs> occur, Daphne? Uh, December. June. June. You change your mind within the four seconds. I can accept it. <laughs> Let's have our first instant sale. John Benson, what's the first one that we offer tonight? Well, twelve pounds is the asking price for this inflatable tender dinghy, complete with plastic oars and two buoyancy jackets. Have fun inshore or on the river, and the cost would be hundred and fifteen pounds. But take care; still waters can run deep. Well, our three contestants were not tempted by that uh, offer, so we move the questions, uh, we don't move them on, we move the show on, hopefully with questions still three pounds. In which city will you find the Trevi Fountain? <coughs> Peter. Rome. You're right. Uh, according to the proverb, which fruit tastes sweetest? <coughs> Daphne. Forbidden fruit. Yes, it does. Um, well, according to the proverb, it does. In this country, from which grain is whiskey usually <coughs> made? Leslie. Rye. Barley in this country. Rye, probably in America. Well, sorry. sorry, Leslie. Whereabouts in your leg is your fibula? <coughs> Peter. The, the shin. You, uh, carry on. Yes, the shin. The shin, yes. It's from the shin, uh, about the shin, up to the knee. But the shin, I think, is sufficient for three. Which is the smallest of the following? Pint, quart, or jill? <coughs> Peter. Jill. Jill is. Which hills are known as the backbone of England? <coughs> Daphne. The Pennine. Yes, they are. Of which country was Conrad Adenauer? <coughs> Daphne. West Germany. Yes, Prayer Chancellor. Of which chemical element is the symbol H? <coughs> Daphne. Hydrogen. Yes. Who can spell innocuous? <coughs> Peter. I double N O C U O U S. And you have three more for that. What was founded by General William Booth? <coughs> Daphne. Salvation Army. Yes, it was. Which Indian city had an infamous black hole? <coughs> Daphne. Calcutta. Yes. What does a German mean when he says Prost? Daphne. Good health. Good health. Cheers. In 1865, who was shot at Ford's Theatre? <coughs> Daphne. Abraham Lincoln. He was. Let's have our second instant sale. What's the second one that we tempt them with tonight? Well, this time spent 16 pounds and you'll be the toast of your neighbourhood. <coughs> this selection includes 12 bottles of blended and six of malt whisky, making a total of 18 that would cost you 163 pounds. And what better way to end the day than with the right company and a tasty tipple. Cheers. Well, uh, Daphne Hudson was tempted by that, and uh, you can imagine, I mean, all that drink for only 16 pounds. Unfortunately, Leslie Wood just was one pound under he couldn't afford to try and buy it. So Daphne has bought it, and she's now almost equal with uh, Peter Smith, so it's neck and neck amongst our two leaders, and we keep the questions at three pounds. Uh, we've done the Ford's Theatre one. Music is the next question. Peter Fenn is now going to play a tune which was a hit for Captain Sensible in 1982. We want one of our contestants to tell us from which musical show did this song originally come? <coughs> Daphne? South Pacific. <laughs> she knew it. Captain sorry. Sensible gave it to her, right? I'm sorry, Peter Fenn. He gets very hurt, you know, if you come in with always played a bar. Anyway, you're right, Daphne, and you have, uh, yes, it was uh, happy, um, happy talk. That's right, in South Pacific. What is the name of the royal residence in Norfolk? <coughs> Daphne. Sandringham. Yes, it is. What is a greenhorn? <coughs> Peter. It's a young deer. <laughs> it's someone who's... It's a sort of novice. Na a yeah. novice, yes. Yeah. He only said that within the four seconds. Yes. Someone who's like naive me, somewhat. or somewhat ignorant, yeah. yes, a novice. But I'm sorry, you didn't get out in the four seconds. Is talcum powder animal, vegetable <coughs> or mineral? Leslie. Mineral. That it is, yes. Magnesium silicate. In which sport did Sir Stanley Matthews, <coughs> Peter? Soccer. He right. If you had three and a half pints of milk, what would you have approximately in litres, <coughs> Peter? Approximately two. You would indeed. In area, which is the largest of the Channel Islands? <coughs> Daphne. Jersey. Jersey is. What is the ship of the desert? <coughs> Peter. Camel. A camel is. In 1859, who wrote on the origin of the species? <coughs> Daphne. Charles Darwin. He did. And we'll have our third instant sale. John Benson, the third one tonight, please. Here it comes, that necklace. Lay out 20 pounds, and you can own this attractive prize of an EP gallery tray, cut glass, sherry decanter, and six glasses. Total cost of this collection, 200 pounds.
Well, once again, unfortunately, Leslie Wood just didn't have enough money to bid for those goods, and Daphne and Peter are level pegging, so maybe that's the reason they didn't press their buzzers. We will find out in the second half as we now leave you, because it's the halfway mark of the contest. When we have to go, we hope you'll stay tuned and find out what happens to our three contestants in the second half. Who's going to win, and if they have enough to go for the jackpot prize of the motor car. All will be revealed, as they say, if you stay tuned. So see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to the sale of the century. Uh, let us see the contest, what the situation is, the halfway mark uh, between our three contestants, and it is Daphne Hudson from Western Supermare on £47, just ahead of Peter Smith from Nantwich on £42, and Leslie Wood from uh, Spennymoor on £18. The questions are still three, and here's the next one. What colour are the flowers on uh, horse chestnut trees, Daphne? White. White, yes, or you could have had red. Brent, barnacle and grey lag, Daphne. There are types of goose. Yes, they are indeed. Equity, who might belong, Peter? Uh, actors. Actors belong to British Actors Equity. Which mountain range separates France from Spain, Peter? Pyrenees. Yes, they do. In which story do we hear about the Never Never Land, Leslie? Um, Alice in Wonderland. Peter Pan. You shared it within the four seconds. I can't accept it. Same thing happened with Daphne. So, you're like, it is Peter Pan, yes. In the Bible, which of Jacob's sons had a coat of many colours? Daphne. Joseph. Joseph did. Who said, there is plenty of time to win this game? And Daphne. Sir Francis Dr and Drake. Thrash, Sir Francis Drake. And then he said, and thrash of the Spaniards. What would be measured with a Geiger counter? Daphne. Radio radioactivity. Yes, it would. Of what two colours is the Greek flag? Daphne. Blue and white. Yes. What does sodium chloride taste like, Leslie? Salt. Yes, it is salt. If you were a cartographer, what would you make, Daphne? Maps. Yes, that's correct. And another one. What terrible disaster struck London in 1666, Peter? The Great Fire. Yes, that's right. What is the pelt of an animal, Peter? The skin. It is indeed. It is the skin of the animal. By what method have criminals been executed in France, Leslie? Guillotine. By the guillotine. What is a hypochondriac, Peter? Someone who always feels they're ill. Yes, it worries about their health and feels they're ill. Of off which coast of Scotland are the Hebrides, Peter? The West. Yes, they are. Uh, to which of the senses does the word olfactory refer, Daphne? Smell. Smell. Grandsire, Plain Bob and Stedman are Daphne. All types of bell ringing. They are indeed. And what is the unit of currency in South Africa? Daphne. The rand. Yes. Which is the largest musical instrument with a keyboard? <coughs> Leslie. Organ. But you said it after the four seconds, Leslie. I'm sorry, I have to be fair on this because the other two could have buzzed and got in. It is the organ. Let's have our fourth instant sale. John Benson, what's the fourth one that we offer tonight? Well, £21 is our price for this luxury picnic hamper with a leather handle and straps. It's ideal for those uh, special and hopefully fine weather occasions outdoors. Comes complete with many accessories and it contains cutlery and dishes for six. Cost £214. Well, uh, Daphne Hudson was tempted by that. She was way out in the lead, but when you've got five children, I suppose something like that must be a very big temptation. So she has spent her money, but she's still in there with a chance of winning because she's close alongside Peter Smith as we put the questions up to five pounds. In mythology, who went searching for the golden fleece? Uh, Daphne. Jason. Jason and his Argonauts. Which artist painted the yellow chair, sunflowers? Daphne. Van Gogh. Van Gogh did. In history, which revolt was led by what Tyler? Daphne? The peasants. Yes. For what has a Woomera in Australia? Daphne. Rocket testing. Yes, that's right. What is meant by the phrase de rigueur? De rigueur is necessary or compulsory. It is de rigueur. In which year did the English Civil War begin, Peter? Pass, I'm sorry. Pass. I've no idea. You're on the wrong show. I'm sorry, Peter. Yes, indeed. yes. We have to take five away because you buzzed. I bet Daphne knew. 1642? Yeah, 1642. But anyway, he loses five. He goes down, Daphne. Of which university are Oriel, Trinity and Worcester, Peter? Those are Cambridge. Oxford. They're Oxford. 
Oxford. Which one are you sticking on? Yes, Oxford. Oxford, all right, yes. it was. You have five for that. Yes. Who was the main leader of the Reformation in Scotland? <coughs> Daphne. John Knox. John Knox, yes. Which day of the week is named after the Norse god Odin? <coughs> Leslie. Friday. Wednesday, Wednesday, I'm afraid, Leslie. If you are having a holiday in Samarkand, in which country, Daphne? Morocco. Don't guess, no. it's not worth it. No, in Russia. By what abbreviation is the Oxford Committee for Famine Relief better known? <coughs> Peter. Oxfam. Yes, it is. Of what two colours is the flag of the City of London? White and red. What famous animal story was written by Henry Williamson? <coughs> Peter. Tarka the Otter. Yes, it was. Which city is the administrative capital of the Netherlands? <coughs> Leslie. The Hag. The Hag or the Hay, yes. What was invented by George Westinghouse? <coughs> Daphne. Oh, brakes. Yes, it was. Yeah. You seemed surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, oh dear, I wish I hadn't yeah. taken it. And then you were pleased you have because you've got five more brakes or air brakes. What is the unit of currency in Argentina? <coughs> Leslie. Peso. Peso is right. Whose official residence is Lambeth <coughs> Palace? Daphne. The Archbishop of Canterbury. Yes, it is. How often do Americans elect their president? <coughs> Daphne. Every four years. Yes, they do. In which art has Alan Akebourne achieved <coughs> fame? Peter. He's a playwright. He is indeed. For which month of the year is Opal the <coughs> birthstone? Daphne. Oh, October. That's very clever, because I think those are awfully difficult. How do you know? Are you were born in October? Well, no, no. No, you're not. Let's have our fifth and our last instant sale. John Benson, tell us what it is tonight. Here it comes, then, for £23. You can buy this 14-inch portable colour television set. It's light and easy to carry, which means it's ideal as that second set, and certainly just right for watching TV AM over breakfast. It's even fitted with an earpiece. Cost £239. Well, once again, Daphne was Stantridge's best her buzzer. Let us look at the money in front of our three contestants as we move into the final session. It's a very interesting contest with Daphne having bought all those goods and she's still out there, but she might have been in a strong lead. So it's going to be neck and neck in the final session between Peter, Peter, Peter Smith Smithy, Peter Smith on £75 and Daphne Hudson on £73 and there's Leslie Wood catching up a little on 29 Question still five. In 1549, which important religious book was published for the first time? Leslie. Bible. The prayer book, I'm afraid, Leslie. Which metal do we make from bauxite? <coughs> Daphne. Aluminium. Yes, we do. What is a heliotrope? <coughs> Daphne. It's a flower. It's a plant, a flower. In which Italian city is the Uffizi Gallery? <coughs> Florence. Florence. Florence is right. Who was the captain of the England Test Team who toured in Australia <coughs> this winter? Peter. Bob Willis. Bob Willis was. Which sea lies to the north of Turkey? Leslie. Black Sea. The Black Sea is right. In which country is Serbo-Croat an official <coughs> language? Peter. Yugoslavia. Yes. What kind of mammal is a merino? <coughs> Daphne. It's a horse. A uh, sheep, sheep. Sorry, you said sheep after the Sorry. four seconds. Sorry, Daphne. In which country are the Apennine Mountains? <coughs> Peter. Uh, Switzerland. Italy, I'm afraid. Italy. Who composed the opera La Boheme? <coughs> Daphne. Puccini. Puccini did. Who is the president of France? <coughs> Peter? Mitterrand. It is, he is. Which sport is played on a gridiron? <coughs> Daphne? Baseball. American football, I'm oh, afraid. Sorry. What, what does the polar bear live in the Arctic or the Antarctic? <coughs> Daphne? The Arctic. He, he does. What is kelp? <coughs> Daphne? Seaweed. Yes, it is. Which popular singer is known as Old Blue Eyes? <coughs> Peter? Sinatra. He is. What are canaries, baps and bloomers? <coughs> Peter? Uh, bread. Bread, yes, you got it just as the four seconds came up. Who wrote The Complete Angler? <coughs> Daphne. Isaac Bolton. He did. Ferris refers to which? <coughs> le, le, Daphne? Iron. Iron, which metal I was going to add. What kind of fruit is a satsuma? <coughs> Peter? An orange, a small It is, orange. an orange family. Who composed the Brandenburg Concertos? <coughs> Daphne. Bach. Bach did. What is maiden hair? <coughs> Daphne. It's a fern. It is indeed. Of, on which island is the town of Limassol? <coughs> Leslie? Cyprus. Yes. As what did Isadora Duncan achieve <coughs> fame, Daphne? A dancer. Dancer. Which city is served by Kennedy Airport? <coughs> Daphne? Uh, New York. New York. What is a, tarant a tarantula? <coughs> Peter? A spider. A spider. O'Donnell's a shade of what <coughs> colour, Daphne? Green. Green. Who wrote A Winter's Tale? <coughs> Leslie? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. What is Adam's ale? Uh, we have to eliminate it because no lights came on. We have to eliminate the question. I'm sorry. What does a cardiologist study, Peter? The heart. The heart. On a dartboard, what score is the innermost number, Daphne? Fifty. Fifty. What is a barracuda, Peter? It's a fish. A, a fish. Yeah. How was the Titanic sunk, Daphne? By an iceberg. Right. What kind of fruit is a morello, Daphne? Cherry. Cherry. In what is a sword sheathed? Scabbard. Uh, a scabbard. Well done. What were else? We have no more time. Who has the most money? And it is Daphne Hudson. One hundred and forty-eight pounds. I don't know this week.
Well, that is quite an achievement. Daphne has bought £616 worth of goods and she's still got £148 and can gamble her chances and go for a jackpot if she wishes. Bad luck on Peter Smith, who was equally bright and was pressing his brothers all the time, but Daphne often got in ahead of him. But Peter, you've got £115 to take home. Leslie, you came up against two very quick, bright contestants. Bad luck. I could see your finger going regularly, but fortunately you only got in to get £39. And so we come back to Daphne. So, with £148, she can go to the sale of the century or she can go for the jackpot prize of the motor car. What will she do? Daphne, what is your decision? I'll go for the jackpot. She's going for the jackpot! <laughs> so, Daphne Hudson is going to try and win our motor car, and there it is. It's a pale yellow mini. We all hope that she answers correctly four out of five more questions that I'm going to put to her, and then that car will be hers. If she's unsuccessful, then of course she does keep the money which is in front of her and the goods that she bought on the way to the sale of the century. Now, the questions this week, but just to remind you and Daphne, she has nine seconds in which to answer each question. If after nine seconds she hasn't given me an answer, then I request one. She's not in competition. You have time to think it out, Daphne. And the questions this week have been put under the following headings. History, famous people, music, science, and literature. Now, Daphne can choose to take those first or second, any of those subjects, as she wishes. Relax, Daphne. You're not in competition. Which of the, do you want to have any choice? No, I'll take them as they come. As I read please. them out? Yes. All right. The first one I read out was history. So we all wish you luck. Take a Thank deep you. breath and here we go for the mini motor car. History. When the Danes invaded England, King Ethelred paid them money to keep away. By what name was that money known? Dangelt. You didn't even have to think about it. Right, you're on the way to the car. Famous people. Which former airman won the VC in the Second World War and since retirement has devoted himself to the provision of houses for the sick and the incurable? Cheshire. Leonard Cheshire. Cheshire. Yeah. You're doing marvellously. <laughs> Keep it up. We're going to play some music now. When that music is played, we want you to tell us the title of this famous Strauss waltz. Do you know what it is, Daphne? Blue Danube. Sorry. No, it's Tales from the Vienna Woods, I'm afraid. This is the literature question. Can you tell me the novelist who created the characters of Michael Henchard, Tess, and Jude the Obscure? Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy. One more question. It's on science and how this car rests on this question. We're all praying for you. Keep your fingers crossed. In science, what do we call the smallest possible unit of any substance composed of a central nucleus surrounded by electrons? An atom. An atom! It's right! You've got a motor car! Congratulations! Oh, wonderful! Oh, I'm so delighted for you. Oh, there we are. You've got all those good answers on a motor car. Come over this side. Get inside the bed. Carol and Karen, we want to congratulate you. Isn't that exciting? Get inside it. See how it feels. Come on. Something there. Isn't that... Well, we only have a few seconds left, so while Daphne gets into the motor car, I'll say goodbye. Hope you've enjoyed the show th this week and say, see, I don't know which one we're on. Bye-bye from Carol Karen. And our winner, there she is, Daphne Hudson. See you next week. Bye-bye.